Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I thought in today's video that I would take you along to B&M with me. I feel like I do so many hauls from this place that why not take you shopping with me? So I'm gonna show you pretty much everything that is in B&M, anything new that I spotted. The one that I went to is a big one as well, so they've got a good range of things in, so we'll get straight into the video. So I thought we would start straight away with homeware items because I saw so many gorgeous things. This Urban Paradise range is beautiful. They have loads of new things in as well. I thought this little plant set was really cute. Six pound and you get the three little succulents in there. This throw is stunning in my opinion. It is only £12 as well, which I think is an absolute bargain. I love the colour and all the tuft details on it. They had so much like funky bedding, like really bold patterns. So yeah, if you're into things like that, then definitely go and have a look at B&M. These are my favourite though. This tuft duvet cover, I absolutely love. I just love all this tough detailing that is just everywhere at the moment. Um, and then obviously you've got a lot of bold sort of throw pillows as well. And I thought I would just show this because I got the white ones of these. So I just thought I'd show you what the gray looks like. They've got so many of these duvet covers that are quite similar to like Kylie, the Kylie range, like really blingy. Um, they've also got loads of these floral gorgeous prints on them and then there was loads of um, pinks so if you're really into like really girly sort of bedding and throw pillows I did love this throw pillow I thought it was gorgeous I love the details on it they do do that in grey as well I'm also loving this mandala print that is just everywhere at the minute I thought this pink pillow would be nice for like outdoors personally if you well, you had a nice outdoor seating area I love the palm trees on that and then there is a bit of fur if that is what you're into I thought I would show that and that was eight pound there was so many new cushions actually there was loads that I had not seen before um, this one I thought was really nice as well and that is ten pound like I say loads of things with like tough detailing on tassels macrame really just beautiful Moroccan sort of style I would say there's also like a really good range of voile um, curtains so these seem to be making a comeback the thinner material which I'm loving actually I love a nice white sheer voile curtain I would actually quite like to change up mine in the living room for something like that because I just think that they are simple and elegant and yeah just look really nice I feel like there was loads of like new cushions and throws when I went in this time that cushion sort of obviously goes with the bedding that I showed before um yeah loads of new colors like the deep blues and emerald green and yeah loads more grays as well which is always what i am drawn to i thought this throw was really nice actually a really good size as well and only 10 pound i just really like all this gray silver with the gold detail on it you might have seen some of these in one of my previous hauls. I bought one of the grey ones and the see-through little hanging lanterns. I think they'd be really nice outside as well. And they obviously have the hearts. We've got a great big heart there that I always love when I come in here and always see that. Storage, there is absolutely loads of it. I have one of these in grey actually in the boys' room. There is also this. I don't know what I think of this, but it has got a furry lid if that is something that you are interested in. Also spotted a furry footstool. I'm not sure I'm keen on that, but I do like the silver um, crushed velvet ones with the silver studs around the top. This basket I have, you might have seen it in my home. I have got some wires stored in it that I just pulled through the um, wicker threads. I really like those boxes. They do them in white as well these belly boxes i think are really cute really good for like kids toy storage they look really nice in a little girls room little boys room i just think that they are really pretty storage and really inexpensive if you're doing a gallery wall or framing some prints then it is definitely worth having a look in B&M at their selection of frames because they do just every size and they have loads of different colours as well. They've got like pink, rose gold, black and white 
and yeah I find them really good I've used them around the house um, quite a, a lot now I always go to somewhere like B&M for things like that this basket I really love this and I would love to get it but I don't have anywhere to put it but I just I think it is just so cute and I also really liked this as well but it wouldn't really go anywhere in my house um, but I did love it these throws, we have had one of these before, but in a different color, but the size of them is huge. So if you're looking for like a really good size throw, then I know that them are massive. I am obsessed with these as well. I feel like there's a lot of cushions at the minute that are very similar to the Mrs. Hinch ones. I thought these gray ones were quite similar to the ones that Mrs. Hinch has just um, released. So yeah, I don't know the price difference, but eight pound for that I think is quite good also we've got this one with butterflies on if that is what you like there is so much um gray and gold decor mixed together which i think is really nice these couple of cushions though i hadn't seen before and i just think these are so pretty this round one would be really nice for like a floor cushion um i just think it's really pretty really lovely color and this one that is like a linen fabric with the tassels i loved as well all of this is again the urban paradise range so you've got your fake plants and little mirrors i thought this would be quite good for the bathroom i have one that's kind of similar that's like a pink um leaf design that is just good for a little tray in the bathroom and obviously if you want fake plants then b m is your place to go because they have every kind of artificial house plant that you could want um, in really pretty pots i really liked this white one that was 10 pound for that and they've also got some in little belly baskets which i thought were really cute all different colors and some more gorgeous baskets if i had anywhere to put all this stuff then i would have got it but yeah i can't be putting any more baskets in our house um this range i think is gorgeous this little woodland range it'd be really nice me and my sister were saying for a child's bedroom if you have like a little woodland theme in there this is like a candle holder that i just think it all looks quite expensive but yeah it'd be really nice for a woodland themed bedroom i thought there's another cute little mirror this will look quite nice outside as well and yet more cushions there's so many new cushions this bolster cushion as well i spotted i think this looks really expensive and fancy very bougie um yeah i just saw that i'd not seen that in there before also some of these lamps i have some lanterns that are very very similar to this this cushion oh my god i love this i think this would look so nice in an outdoor seating area and pretty much all of my trays are from b&m or home bargains because they're just so reasonably priced and that was only six pound some more of this urban paradise decor some lovely little tribal sort of style decorations and nice little candles this matches quite a few other things that they have in b&m like furniture gorgeous little tray again i would love it for the outside and also there is plenty of stools i love these they're 20 pound but i think i have seen some cheaper in home bargains i thought these boxes of flowers would be really nice for under a window i hadn't seen the big ones actually that's new to me i've seen those smaller ones before but i haven't seen the big window box flowers but i think yeah artificial flowers b and m is your place to go we've got sunflowers loads of gorgeous artificial flowers if like me you're not the best at keeping plants alive a couple of bits of furniture i spotted a couple of end tables so one of them i actually have that one that is 15 pound there is also various um little bar trolleys drinks trolleys in b and m all of them i just absolutely love but Again, don't really have anywhere to put them. Um, but yeah, they're only £30, which I think is quite a good price. I thought this desk was a real bargain as well. Really good for space saving. It was only £20. It was reduced, so you just attach it to the wall. Onto like kitchen items, I spotted loads of new bits down the aisle. There's a big pink range. So if you want to change all your plates out to loads of pink ones, then get yourself to B&M. There is loads of gorgeous serving boards. Um, this sort of tribal print and loads of blacks was on everything as well. There is so many of this like tribal design. I thought these mats were really cute as well and in different colours. These are good because they're like wipeable. I thought it'd be quite good if you didn't use them as placemats to use to put under your pet bowls. It's that kind of material and really good for obviously easy to clean. 
They also have a big range of the marble design serveware. It just looks so expensive. Like you could see this in Next. These gorgeous marble cutlery sets as well. These I love. These these kind of canisters, the patterns and designs that are on them. The jars, there is absolutely loads. I actually bought a few of these to keep um, some things like jams and lemon curd in. I just think they are really cute. The little clip top jars. This is really good as well. I thought this is £2, so it's a little breakfast on the go pot. So you can put your yogurt or fruit in the bottom and then put some granola or something on the top. And as always, the mugs in there are amazing. I could have bought loads, but I really didn't need any more mugs. But yeah, they have a gorgeous selection of different mugs. Always see loads that I want. These I bought, actually. I did get some of these. Really good for keeping it like veg in. I love the black. They're all stackable, so you could buy a few of them and, yeah, just stack them up. So I'm keeping fruit and veg in mine at the moment. I also got some of these, which I thought would be good for the cutlery drawers. It's just a three um, different sized storage boxes that, yeah, I'm probably going to put in the cutlery drawer just to have, like, your big knives and things in. Then on to, like, the garden aisles. I mean, they're, they're pretty wiped out, to be honest. A lot of the stuff that was the really good stuff is gone but there is loads of nice picnic wear so there is loads of different patterned picnic blankets this i thought was quite cool this um black planter really modern if that's the kind of look that you're going for i also bought one of these coolers that i thought was a nice pattern and it was only six pound for all the picnics that we plan to have and yeah another nice designed picnic blanket these are quite good, I thought, for the kids for summer. So obviously you can make your own ice lollies. And again, great for barbecues and picnics, little food covers. I also got some of these to put in the freezer. I just have to make sure that the boys don't eat them because they were already excited when I put them in their drinks. And I was like, no, 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 you can't eat them. This is a good thing for picnics as well. So it's a little like portable dr drinks dispenser. And then you've got these little boxes of all picnic wear. So you can keep all that separate from the food. Great for after a picnic when you can put all your dirty things like into the box and seal it up. And then it's all together. These are good as well for obviously keeping out the bugs. They had so many different ones. I actually think I need to get one of these because we do have the back door open a lot in the summer. So I thought these were quite good. All the different screens. And I hadn't seen these before. But um, obviously for keeping bugs from coming through the window so you can put them over your window just window screens and some more gorgeous little ice lolly molds i thought this little bistro set was a good price so it's just a little table and two chairs and yeah this was on offer as well this is the table that sort of matches the tray that i showed before some gorgeous little side tables and also some drawers that match it all as well Onto like pet things, loads of pet toys. This I actually got for Rudy, which he destroyed in two seconds. And I did spot one of these. It was reduced to a pound. So maybe not many people are buying these for their dogs. But if you feel like dressing up your dog as a superhero, then you can get them. These are great for the summer. You've got like dogs paddling pool and cooling mats. There is so many different pet bowls as well. I think really nice looking ones. I think this is really good as well. This cute little canopy for dogs so that they can keep out of the sun. And yeah, it looks really cute as well. Moving on to one of my favourite areas. It is all the snacks and B&M is the best place for snacks. They have got these Pringle bus things. It must be something to do with football. I have no idea. We've got these Dream Bars, the Marble Bars. These are quite expensive though. I think they're the Australian chocolates. Also, I've never seen them before. Caramel Latte Dime Bars. If you have a Tassimo machine, they do an iced coffee for that. I haven't tried them, but I do love an iced coffee. Also, we've got Costa Pods. These look interesting probably one for the kids that they would probably really like it's like milkshake powder all different crazy flavors sounds really sickly um, but yeah we'll have a unicorn on them there is loads of betty crocker mixes in b&m really good price i keep seeing these as well i don't really know whether they are worth the money some oreo powder it's like crumbled up oreo i suppose you could put it on hot chocolates and ice creams i thought these would be really good for half term if you want to do some baking with the kids i've not seen these before also these 
are great for gifts i always think it always comes with a little skillet and then the mix i bought something very similar for dylan at christmas but yeah there is these different dr ertger mixes so it's spectacular science so you can make some really funky looking cakes and things with them they've got a small range of the skinny syrups and brownie mixes in there i haven't tried them before these look right up my street though some galaxy brownie mix and they have the blondie mix as well as the brownie mix loads and loads of skinny whip bars my favorite is definitely the mint ones i love them they also have graze bars in there which can be really expensive so probably a very good price in b&m also some pop tarts i hadn't seen these before chocolate chip cookie dough it sounds super sickly but yeah love 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 the strawberry sensation pop tarts the most they have definitely got to be my favorite these are new as well a few different ranges of walker's crisps so yeah football themed again this is the best cereal in the world in my opinion and they also now do a strawberry one which i haven't tried i also haven't seen these before this is like a zero sugar um cookie range so there is yeah big packs of cookies and then some like cookie thins so i don't know what they're like but if they've got no sugar in hopefully it's a healthier option those bowls with the cereal are just one pound each i think they would make a really nice gift as well they always have a really good range of american cereal in b&m i think there is always so many different cereals i've never seen before i just spotted some little hand fans as well just on top of the aisles which i think is really good for this type of weather good for putting in your handbag these are new to me lion coconut bars don't know what i think about them um maybe they're nice they've got white chocolate on the outside also these look pretty new maybe they're not but i haven't seen them before some white oreo bars these violet crumbles i think that they are an australian thing i've had them before and i'm not that impressed it tastes like cooking chocolate to me i just wasn't that fussed um some more coconut there's a lot of coconut themed chocolates out at the minute some more some new dairy milk ones there that i had never spotted before it's always very good in b&m to find things that are just like new um to the market all of the milk bars this one is my favorite the choco and wafer one and yeah they do the little the little teeny ones as well if you don't want to get the massive bars but yeah they've always got a massive range of the milk bars and if you've not had milk or chocolate before it is really nice these are those big bars again but yeah they're 2.99 so i just i don't know i think that is really quite expensive for dairy milk um neapolitan does sound very nice though these are a couple of new ones that i've not seen before either perky nana so yeah that doesn't sound very nice either but maybe it's really nice i've no idea and then a big picnic bar as well also some crunchy bites oreos i thought they looked really nice these no i don't like the look of these i don't know if they taste nice or not i've seen these in a couple of other people's hauls um and also these i hadn't seen before these white chocolate truffle flowers which i think would be a really nice gift there is orange chocolate yorkies that are a new thing i think and then onto cleaning products all of this range looks pretty new i haven't seen these before this comfort ultimate care range and some of these surf three-in-one tablets they're only 4.99 always a good price in b&m to get all of your branded cleaning products fabulosa has completely taken over uh, b&m there is just every single kind of product you could want that is fabulosa but yeah there is just literally every single kind of fabulosa product that you could think of now um, these are washing machine cleaners they had big multi-packs of things just that many different products like you could just get every single kind of cleaning product now just that, that fabulosa does they have got loads they even have scented toilet roll i had not seen that before so they have got toilet roll in the scent electrify which is probably my favorite actually then on to some like cleaning storage loads of different peg boxes really nice things some gorgeous little lint rollers how fancy do they look and also some really nice laundry baskets i really like this gray one with the pom-poms i thought that was really nice and it was only seven pound there's also a whole range of fabulosa storage they've got their own storage boxes in there now so you can keep all of your fabulosa in your own 
Fabulosa storage boxes. Loads and loads of different boxes um, for all your cleaning products, all different sizes, Just there's just loads. I also spotted this, which I thought was quite cute. If you've got a push chair, then it's a little fan that you can just clip on and yeah, it's 4 99 just keep the baby cool. I thought that was quite good. And I also spotted some of these, some scents that I haven't seen before. These are just a pound, the Imperial Leather um, Body Washes and Bubble Baths. This is new to me, seeing a David Williams one, the Gangster Granny, but I'm sure this would be great for the kids, actually. Some bathroom storage, the Copper is still a popular choice i remember when there was just copper everywhere i see a bit less of it now but yeah that is some nice little copper storage i really like all the silver bathroom accessories and i thought that was cute that little bathroom sign we had a little look outside as well at all the plants most of my plants and flowers are from B&M. I find them really reasonably priced. These strawberry plants as well are only a pound each, which I think is a really good price if you want to give growing some strawberries a go, hopefully if it is hot enough this summer. These were really gorgeous as well. I can't remember exactly what they were called, but I just thought it was a really beautiful flower. And yeah, all of these just are so reasonably priced. There is a lot that is on three for five pound as well. Just these bedding plants. And yeah, definitely worth having a little look. If you are doing your garden up, there is loads and loads of plants in B&M. I also spotted these little herb planters. It's got all the herbs in there ready for you if you don't want to grow them from scratch, which I thought these were really cute. These are the pots that I have got. I got them in the blue color. It's a pack of three and they are $9.99. They're really pretty. And these are all the different colors that they come in. I hadn't seen these planters before, but I really like them. And these are $29.99 and you get two planters in there. And that is pretty much everything for me to show you in b and I really hope that you enjoyed having a little look around with me. If you did, it'd be great if you gave it a big thumbs up. And I would love to see you again for my next one. Bye everyone.